Hey, Brian here from RVWithTito.com. Hey, we're back to doing some more upgrades here in the RV as part of our remodeling project. Now, we've uh, taken a little bit of time and really been enjoying some of the changes that we've made so far. I'm enjoying this uh, awesome new flooring in here and uh, these new recliners. <laughs> it's been really nice to actually just kind of kick back and lay down in these recliners and enjoy this whole space, you know, before we move on to the next phase. But it really feels big in here, you know, with everything out and the new flooring just kind of ties everything together. Well, in this uh, video, I wanted to tackle a couple of smaller projects specifically in this area here that used to be the old dinette. You know, once we tore it out, I had to remove some trim and uh, obviously we put in uh, these recliners where the old uh, dinette was and on the slide out. So I needed to trim out the uh, the flooring on the slide and uh, also wanted to put in a new uh, console next to the recliner so we have a place to plug some additional things in. I want to repurpose some of the some of the scrap that I had from the old dinette and see if I can um, use it to build some of these new things in here. But uh, I also wanted to answer, answer a couple questions that have come up in previous videos and starting with the recliners here. You know, a lot of you have asked, you know, about anchoring them down. So, to answer that question, yes, I have anchored them down, but I didn't initially. Let me show you what I did uh, now. It's really nice and sturdy now. So, I'll take one of these cushions off and we can get behind it. Behind here, there's a, there's a back brace. So, what I did is I just took a conduit uh, clamp, I guess is what it is. And uh, I just screwed in uh, two screws on either side just to kind of anchor down this uh, rear uh, part of the, the recliner here. And I just did it on both recliners. So there's one on this one and there's one on the one on the other side. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and cut some trim and uh, get that done and then get to work on this uh, side console.
Well, I think this turned out pretty darn good. I ended up having to uh, make these little uh, trim pieces here on the sides. And uh, I was able to actually stain them to kind of match the rest of the uh, paneling that's in here. So that turned out pretty good, actually. Now I got a, uh, a USB plug. So it's got two USB outlets here and a 12 volt kind of cigarette lighter type of a plug down here and an AC outlet. Now the reason I wanted the 12 volt one here is because uh, we actually have a little DC powered uh, little electric blanket that we use sometimes. So it's kind of nice to be able to sit here with a little heated blanket on you and uh, it's nice to have a place to actually plug it in right here next to the seat. Now the last thing I need to do is to actually finish trimming out this, uh, this piece here. Uh, you know, there was a piece of wood or piece of, <laughs> I use the term wood loosely because it's really just kind of an MDF uh, with a paper kind of surface on it that makes it look like this uh, wood finish. But it really doesn't fit here anymore. It was cut funny because of the dinette coming up against this wall. So I'm going to have to use some uh, of pieces from the dinette to actually try to try to build a new piece of uh, trim or a new piece of uh, finished wood to go around this this corner here of the slide so let's get to that I don't even know if I need to nail this. <laughs> Sweet. This looks pretty good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, I'm not even going to nail this down because it's it's in there pretty snug. And if I nail it, then I'm going to have to uh, tear it out when I when I need to do uh, some sort of minor change or modification. So it ain't going nowhere. It's uh, solid and snug enough in that spot. But I'm really glad I was able to actually reuse some of the materials from the old dinette. So that's why I didn't uh, get rid of all that stuff. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's always been uh, right there on that wall. So... Really happy with the way it turned out. Let me know what you think. And you know, this may seem like a really minor thing having this little shelf here, but I really think it's going to add a lot of uh, a lot of convenience here, right here on the side, to be able to plug stuff in, and just to be able to set something here right next to the seat. Now, next time we're going to take care of uh, that over there and replace our makeshift little folding table, a sitting area there with something much cooler. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.